Hello lovelies, welcome to our channel Universal Movies. Today, I back quote M. Gunna explain a 2019 Japanese drama movie called, Brave Father Online, spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie begins with Akio Iwamoto, a Japanese young man working at an advertising agency, playing Final Fantasy games. He uses a girl avatar called Meidi and has several online close friends. The next morning, he is surprised to find his mother has cooked fancy meals for him and Mickey, his sister's breakfast. She explains that the meals are intended to celebrate their father's promotion to a director at his company, although both Akio and Mickey react coldly to it. They are confused because their father, Akira, would not deliver the good news himself and is so busy working that he does not seem to care for them. Akio flashbacks to his childhood where he remembered his dad as an all-serious person and only cared about his work. Arriving at work, he meets his co-worker, Yoshi, who just comes back after he took a break due to his father's funeral. Yoshi tells him that he regrets not knowing his father too much when he was still alive. Coming back home, Akio is surprised to find his father has resigned from his company just after he got promoted without any reason, and awkwardly helps him unpack his office equipment. He goes to the bar with Yoshi after work hours and discusses his father's sudden retirement. Yoshi suggests that his dad may be having an affair with a client's wife, just like Nishira, a manager at their office who looks like he resigned with honor. Akio does not buy the idea, he thinks his dad would not do something like that. Along the way home, Yoshi suggests Akio get to know his dad better, as he cannot recall any facts about his father now that he has passed away. Akio recalls his first game, Final Fantasy, bought by his father and he was so fascinated by it until now. His father used to accompany him to play the game when he was little, which seems like the only good time he ever spent with his father. In the game, Akio is gathering with his friends and tells his concern about his father. He then gets the idea to invite his father to play the game to get to know him better, which his friends support. The next day, he gives his father a retirement gift of PlayStation 4 and a Final Fantasy XIV game. Akira does not seem really interested in the gift, which disappoints Akio so he heads back upstairs to his room. Turns out, Akira tries to install the PS4 console himself but does not know how to do it, so Mickey heads to Akio's room to ask him to help their father set the game and create his avatar, which he named Indy Jones based on Akio's suggestion on superhero names. Akio then goes back upstairs to go online so he can observe his father's character from afar, although he is careful not to let Mickey know that he plays the game too. After getting familiar with the game, Akira challenges an enemy too difficult for him, so Akio decides to help him by defeating the enemy. Akira wants to thank that other player but does not know how to do it, then Akio remembers that his dad does not have a keyboard to type messages. He delivers a keyboard downstairs after Mickey asks for his help again and comments that he should talk more directly to their father. Back at the office, Yoshi tries to flirt with women co-workers by offering them candies, but one of them, Satomi, is actually attracted to Akio and secretly watches him. Coming home, Akio learns that his father quits playing Final Fantasy because he does not know how to change outfits and feels embarrassed for it. After teaching him and seeing that his father is interested again in playing the game, he encourages himself to directly talk to his father's character in the game. He laughs at his father's very formal responses, but he seems to adjust himself to sound less formal and expresses his gratitude to Akio for saving him earlier. Akio sends him a friend request but then is startled by a knock at his door. Akira knocks on the door himself, awkward and confused because he just received a friend request. Akio says friends are good to have in the game because they can help him achieve more quests and beat difficult enemies. His father goes back to the living room to continue playing and accepts his friend's request. Then, he goes on an adventure with Akio and his online friends. He seems genuinely happy after defeating an enemy, a sight new to Mickey and her mother. He goes to the kitchen to refill his drink then continues playing. At almost the same time, Akio goes downstairs to refill his drink too. Mickey deduces that they both are playing the same game simultaneously. At the office, Satomi secretly peeks at Akio's computer screen to find out that he likes to play Final Fantasy and tries to play the game herself to initiate a conversation with him. 
Meanwhile, Fumi and the main client for Akio's advertising agency, is rumored to hire a competitor to work on their advertising projects. Akio's director tasks him and Yoshi to meet with them and persuade them to stay partnered with their company, however, Nakajima, Fumi N's new manager, tells them that Fumi N plans to do something new and exciting and cannot keep repeating the same formula from Akio's company. Luckily, they give them a chance to present an advertising proposal later. Back at home, Akira is really invested in the Final Fantasy game but gets frustrated as he cannot defeat an enemy named Ifrit. However, Akio patiently assists him although he knows he has work to do, then they finally defeat Ifrit. After that, he dares to tell his struggle to Akira, as in Final Fantasy his father only considers him as a stranger. He tells him that defeating enemies together in-game teaches him that he should not give up when faced with tough challenges. Surprisingly, Akira advises that he should pour love and enthusiasm into the advertising presentation to attract clients. He shares his point of view as a former employee in a factory who has seen many advertising campaigns. Akio then researches the advertisements that Fumi N has seen and tries to find insights on what Fumi N is interested in, which will form the basis of their campaign proposal. Akio and Yoshi then present simple but personal and touching stories for their campaign on Fumi N's Ochizuk product. Akio ends their presentation by sharing his personal story on how he once studied late at night for his university entrance exams, then his dad cooked him an Ochizuk. He knew his dad did not eat late at night so he made that Ochizuk only for his son. That story really attracts Fumi N's board so Akio's company secures the deal. The whole office is happy for Akio, even Satomi offers to treat him. However, Akio wants to meet with Satomi in the game, where they are then joined by Akira's avatar. Satomi almost spoils their real-life connections but Akio jumps in to prevent his dad from finding out. Akira tells that he is confused about his distant and cold-acting son and is disappointed about his daughter who does not seem to care much about her future. He is even more furious that Miki brings her boyfriend to home, Kensuke Kudo. He is an aspiring comedian, still looking for a stable career. Akira sits separately from other family members and quietly enjoys his meal. When Kensuke politely offers them to attend his show, Akira scolds him for not being able to find a stable career and afford for his future family, then dismisses him. Miki gets angry at his father and also leaves, as she does not think her father knows what is best for her. Akio only watches the conflict quietly, unsure of what to do. Akira reaches for his game console to find comfort in playing Final Fantasy, but his wife bans him. She forbids him to play games until the conflict with Miki is resolved, but then he negotiates to play for an hour. He wants to defeat another enemy named Titan but fails to do it in the one hour time span. Through game avatars, Akio advises him to get to know his daughter's boyfriend better because just like in-game, they can only defeat enemies if they truly know and understand them. Akira takes that advice and goes to Kensuke's show. Miki is surprised to find her father there but is glad that he finds Kensuke as a funny and hard-working man. She reconciles with him after the show. Telling the success to Akio in the game, Akira also expresses his intention to get to know the world more, especially outside of work because his life was defined only by work. Akio suggests they beat the hardest enemy in Final Fantasy, Twintania. He also tells the plan directly to Satomi at work so they can work together to defeat it. To his surprise, he finds his dad in front of his door one evening, asking if he can help teach him how to beat Twintania because he does not want to let his online friends down. He even asks him to sit down beside him during the battle, but that would blow up his cover as he is unable to play his avatar at the same time, so he makes an excuse. Mickey is glad to see his brother and father interacting more closely, although there is still awkwardness between them. The battle with Twintania is scheduled at 9 p.m. on a Friday, with Akio planning to tell his identity to his father after the battle. When the day comes, Akira suddenly feels unwell and is rushed to a hospital. Akio's director just expresses his intention to move Akira for an overseas business project when Akio receives a call from his family and is forced to leave work early. They find out that Akira has brain damage that requires surgery, which causes him to suddenly quit his job. 
They then discover that Akira is missing from his hospital room. Akio immediately rushes home, but Miki calls to inform him that their dad is not at home. Satomi then calls, asking where he is because the battle with Twintania is about to begin and Indy Jones, Akira's avatar, is too excited. Akio deduces that his dad is at an internet cafe for their battle with Twintania. He knows he should be looking for his father instead of playing games, but Akira insists that they should all be excited to defeat Twintania, so he plays along. After a tough battle, they win, then Akio bravely tells Akira that he should come home because his family is waiting at home. Akira then knows that Akio is one of his online Final Fantasy friends, then cries happy tears. He then agrees to take the surgery because he believes that if he can defeat Twintania and other tough enemies at Final Fantasy, he can defeat other life challenges as well, especially with support from his family. Years later, Akira survived the surgery and has been on his console since early morning, which only makes Miki and her mother shake their heads. He enthusiastically plays Final Fantasy to interact with Akio, who currently works abroad in Singapore. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.